Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The beta weekend for Thunder Tier 1 has been over for a few weeks now, but that doesn't mean we cannot have a bit of quality content here on the channel to help us wait for the next PlayStation or release of the game. The feedback on the introduction video has been quite overwhelming to be honest with you. I obviously want to do more content on my channel and I want to have some diversity. I don't want to focus always on just one game. Uh, but I want to stay in the tactical shooter type. And because Thunder Tier 1 is pretty unique in the way that it looks like and the way it plays, I was a bit concerned about uploading the video. But it actually performed pretty well, and I think that's because my audience realized that they could actually enjoy Thunder Tier 1 as much as I did. I could be wrong, but I think and I hope that's the case, especially since I want to do more content for Thunder Tier 1 on the channel in the future. Anyway, so we are back with a cinematic gameplay video. This is the first side operation that we had available in the Thunder Tier 1 beta weekend. The objective is to locate, secure and extract an HVT successfully. Because there is the risk of the HVT escaping if we get detected, we are going with fully silent weapons. I will be taking points most of the time, and although this map has a good mix of indoor and outdoor locations, most of the fights will take place outside, so I will use the M4. Raskar will have the same loadout while I will be giving Clover the M24 for long range, although this might be a little bit too overkill on this map, and Shrimp would get the silent FAL and medium range scope. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is just make sure that they are on hold fire. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go. So, uh, let's have a look again at the drone. So we've got one sentinel here, and we've got one, two, three patrols. I think these two are together, and then we have this one switching between the ground floor and the first floor of the construction site. So he goes all the way to the ground level, and then to the window here that we can't see, and then goes all the way to the top floor and goes to this window here so I could potentially get him from here if I assign I think it's shrimp where is she yeah I think she has a uh, she has an FAL so she could potentially kill this one without too much difficulty so okay let's do this let's try to go through the construction site I'm gonna stick together for now I'm gonna kill the lights though I decided to go through the construction site to avoid alarming the enemy too early with a more aggressive tactic, which is something that I could have done if I had decided to go via the road checkpoint. But that would have also meant more risk of dying given how many enemies were there. Okay, we've got those two and this one. So what I'm thinking about... Maybe I should take care of those two actually patrolling for now. Yeah, let's do that. It's actually easier for me to do this one alone. Oh, clear. Pretty good. Let's regroup. I'm gonna go through the uh, construction site. So we know this site is empty, so I'm just going through. Otherwise we would have seen soldiers on the uh, thermal image. I think this is where things would get a little bit harder. Now let's have a look. So I'm here, and we've got one, two, three sentinels coming this way. So what I'm thinking about doing is get close enough to assign 
priority targets to these. Give me some, I'll just shrink to this one. And as soon as they go, we're gonna take care of them. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're good. I don't think I have... No, I don't have any uh, underdog camera. That would have been useful to hear. I'm gonna reload. We're gonna go on uh, file formation. Okay. Now we're gonna be extremely quiet. Okay, we need to make sure that the target doesn't flee this place, otherwise we're gonna have serious issues, but I think we are good. Okay, let's assign new orders. We're gonna move to this. Actually, this is stream. She's gonna stay with me. She has the long range. We're gonna move Crowbar over there behind the crate. Roger. Roger. here. And then. We're gonna move shrimp over there. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna move her here. For now. And then we're gonna transfer her over there. And she's gonna keep an eye on this door. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep checking these. After checking all rooms, which were actually pretty empty, I finally found the HVT, who didn't put too much resistance and quickly gave up. Okay, I got the HVT, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna arrest this one now. Now, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna stop escorting here and I'm gonna ask Shrimp to. It's called the HBT. Okay. I don't know if I can actually be there. No, I think that's gonna be. I'm gonna take over here. Pretty good. Let's have a look at the um, other drone. See if we have more enemies waiting for us outside. I think we are good. We do have two soldiers here patrolling close to the road. Are they coming towards us? I am not sure. Doesn't look like they are. Oh, actually, they might be. That's pretty good. Both of them. That's pretty good. Good shot. Yeah, I need her to be more careful. We're gonna move her back over there. The thing is, when she escorts, it's a little bit harder for her to. We're gonna move over there towards Cora. Nice kill. Contact. It's too bad I didn't take clay moss with me, because I could really do with clay moss right now. 
Alright, we are really close to to the evac now, so yeah, okay, so we, we need to quickly make our way to the evac and then we're gonna have to defend our position, yeah, there you go alright, so I'm gonna ask him to be here her to come here and this one to be over there and I'm gonna wait here if I can. oh, I can't That was not a good idea. Rascar seems to be fine, although I know that they can be coming from this side, but nobody's pushing for now. Coming on the other side. Shrimp just absolutely saved my life here. Oh, we lost two of them. So as you can see, this didn't go too well. I haven't found a lot of good spots to defend these last points properly and it's a pretty tricky one because most of the surfaces are either wood or thin metal plates. But next time we play, I would probably do it in daytime and I would probably bring proximity mines that I set before triggering the evac countdown. And we would probably try in a more realistic difficulty as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay video of Thunder Chair 1. I'll have one more to release in the near future and after that, we will have to be patient and wait for the next gameplay session, hopefully a beta weekend or the release of the game, to get our hands on Thunder Chair 1 again. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and to subscribe to support the channel. We just passed the 1.2k and we are on our way to the 1300 subs, which is absolutely amazing how fast the channel has been growing lately and I cannot thank you enough for that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video which will probably be a zero hour video.